Hi everyone, myself Bila Skole. I welcome you all in my YouTube channel Bila Skole underscore Zulu. Today we will discuss the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland actually if we observe its position it is a small sized about 1.3 cm in diameter pinkish colored p shaped shape gland present below the hypothalamus so it is also called hypothalamus cerebri it lies in a dispersion called shella tarsica in the sphenoid bone of cranium of skull it is connected to hypothalamus by an infundibular stack formed of connective tissue with blood capillaries and nerve fiber anatomically the pituitary gland is formed of two parts first one is anterior pituitary that is adenohypophysis and posterior pituitary that is neurohypophysis. Adenohypophysis develop as an outgrowth of pharynx called rachis pouch and is formed of three parts pars distalis, pars intermedia and pars tuberalis. The parts distalis and parts tuberalis together are known as anterior lobe of pituitary. Neurohypophysis develop as a downgrowth of hypothalamus and forms parts nervosa, which forms the posterior lobe of pituitary. Now we will discuss the histology. Histologically, adenohypophysis is formed of five type of endocrine cells which secrete seven type of hormones. There are somatotrophs which is 30 to 40 percent and secret STH or growth hormone. Corticotrophs which is about 20 percent and secret ACTH. Thyrotrophs which secret TSH that is Thyroid stimulating hormone. This gonadotrophs, which secret FSH, LH, and ICSH, and lactotrophs, which secret prolactin. The hormones of adenohypophysis with their physiological effects and disorder caused due to their imbalance level. Now, these total things we will discuss. Hormone secreted by adenohypophysis or thyroid stimulating hormone that is TSH, adrenocorticotropic hormone that is SCTH, somatotropic hormone that is STH or growth hormone. That is GH. Another one is prolactin generated by PRL. Then follicular stimulating hormone that is FSH. Luteinizing hormone that is LH. Interstitial sense stimulating hormone that is ICSH. And next one is melanocyte stimulating hormone that is MSH. Now we will discuss the about thyroid stimulating hormone that is TSH. Actually, it's also denoted by thyrotropin. Actually, its chemical nature is glycoprotein. If you observe its physiological effects we will observe there is increased iodine intake it 
synthesis of thyroxine and breakdown of colloid of thyroid follicle to release thyroxine. Now, adrenocorticotropic hormone that is SCTH. Actually, it is polypeptide in nature. It increased secretion of corticoid, especially glucocorticoid from adrenal cortex. Now, we will discuss somatotropic hormone ACTH or growth hormone. Now, it is proteinous in nature. Actually, it stimulates growth of body. There is many ways. It increased growth of bone by increased absorption of calcium from intestine. It increased lipolysis of adipose tissue. It increased amino acid uptake and protein synthesis. It also increased glucose level in blood by decreased secretion of insulin. It also increased cell division. Increases those are absorbed by the blood. Now, decreased use of blood glucose leads to ATP production. Now, there is some hyposecretion disorder of growth hormone. The characteristics of dwarfism we can identify this retarded physical growth and which is caused by deficiency of STH that is somatotropic hormone or growth hormone in children but patient has no normal brain patient has normal brain now, Simon disease due to hyposecretion of STH in adult and characteristic by smaller hand, fields, and face premature aging. Now, hyposecretion of growth hormone. Gigantism is catched by abnormal increased height up to 7 to 8 feet and along with bone due to oversecretion of STH from childhood. Then acromegaly, it is catched by abnormal elongation of limbs and lower jaw, given gorilla-like aperture appearance and protruding bone ridge over the eyes. It occurs due to oversecretion of STH in adult. Now we will discuss prolactin. It is also defined by lactogenic or prolactin hormone or mammotrophic hormone or deutotrophic hormone. It is peptide in nature. Proliferation of mammary gland and formation of milk after the birth of baby is the main physiological effect and in birds like pigeon dog etc it stimulates formation of crop gland now we will discuss follicular stimulating hormone it helps in Gametogenesis in gonads, this if we uh, took the example of ovaries to form gametes that is ova. 
and also it stimulates secretion of estrogen from ovary. Luteinizing hormone, interstitial cell stimulating hormone. Now, if we observe the function of this hormone, it in case of female, it stimulates ovulation from ovary, formation of corpus luteum, secretion of progesterone from corpus luteum. Now, in case of male, it stimulates interstitial cells of testes to secrete male sex hormone that is testosterone and which control development of secondary sex organ and secondary sexual characters. Melanocyte stimulating hormone that is MSH. It is polypeptide in nature. It controls the synthesis and dispersal of melanin granules in the chromatophore, that is pigeon cells, pigment cells in the skin of fishes, amphibians, and some reptiles, that is spiculotum animal. So it causes darkening of skin, but it is non functional in man. Now, we will discuss the hormone of neurohypophysis. These two hormones, first is oxytocin and then antidiuretic hormone, that is ADH. Now, oxytocin, actually, in Greek word, Oxytocin means quick birth. It is secreted by paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus. Now, if we observe its uh, physical effects, it helps in conduction of smooth muscles of myometrium of uterus during parturition, that is childbirth, for normal delivery. So, it is called birth hormone. Contraction of smooth muscles surrounding the alveoli of mammary glands in lactating females during sucking of nipples by the infant. So, release milk. It is also called milk ejection hormone. Now, we will discuss antidiuretic hormone that is ADH. Contraction, if you observe its effects, contraction of smooth muscles of arterioles so exert special effect and increase blood pressure, so it is called vasopressin. Now, it controls the permeability of wall of collecting tubules and DCT of renal tubules to water, so it controls the osmoregulation, that is water balance in the body grid. In secretion of stimulated by rise in osmotic pressure of blood due to loss of water, increase in osmotic pressure stimulates osmoreceptors. It gives also antidiuretic effect. So that's why it's called antidiuretic hormone. Its secretion is more in desert mammals like camel, kangaroo rat. A deficiency of ADH cause Decreased reabsorption of water from collecting tubules. This is called diabetes insipidus. Please like, share, comments, and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you. Thank you.